Make a meme out of that if you want. It is a beautiful day. It is nice out. A little bit chilly, but it's nice. You know what else is nice? Draws for the European playoffs. Um, not what I expected it to be. I thought, this is how I thought it was going to go down. I thought we were going to get Sweden versus Switzerland. I thought we were going to get Denmark versus Greece. Croatia versus the Republic of Ireland. And I thought it was going to be Italy versus Northern Ireland. But we have this. Northern Ireland versus Switzerland. Croatia versus Greece. Denmark versus the Republic of Ireland. And Sweden against Italy. These are all very juicy and enticing matchups. And I'm going to jump right in and give my early predictions for these matches. Um, so, Northern Ireland versus Switzerland with the first leg being played in Northern Ireland. I think Switzerland is the favorite to come through this and qualify for the World Cup. But Northern Ireland looked very good in qualifying. And just in their last two matches against Germany at home and Norway on the road, they slumped a little bit. But in my opinion, they've been one of the best runners up uh, in the European World Cup qualifying zone, and they could have very easily have been one of the seeded teams. I think this is a tough match. You know, I think all all four all four ties. I cannot remember in recent memory uh, in a European World Cup qualifying zone where there was a clear and distinct favorite. I think. Any of these eight teams can qualify for the World Cup. Any of these teams can qualify. I think that the there's not a very clear team in my mind that I say, yeah, yeah, they're going to get through. Um, and that's good. That's good for football. Any of these teams can go through. So for Northern Ireland, Switzerland, the Swiss... Switzerland needs to be careful because Switzerland finished with 9 wins and 27 points. But consider the group that they were in against the Faroe Islands, Andorra, Latvia, and a very disappointing Hungarian team. They haven't really been tested. Whereas Northern Ireland came through a relatively more difficult, well-rounded group with Germany, the Czech Republic, and Norway. And they finished relatively comfortably in second place as well. But I do think they have been more tested than Switzerland has. And I think Northern Ireland at home in Belfast, what's the name of the park they play in? Windsor Park, I'm not sure. Uh, or Croke, I'm not, I don't remember. Um, I wouldn't want to travel there with the whole fan atmosphere. You go to any of the Ireland's, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, the fan atmosphere is always intense. Um, they're not a fun team to play against away from home. And I would not take them for granted. I think Northern Ireland can come through this. I think they are a really good side. Um, I was impressed by them at the Euro 2016 tournament. And I thought they could have gotten a result against Germany at home, but Germany were just far too clinical. Against Switzerland, I do think Switzerland have more individual talent. I think they have better stars. I don't want to keep this video long because I have to go through four matches. I think the first leg is going to be a draw. Yeah. I think I'm thinking like a 1-1 draw. Uh, and then I think in the second leg in Switzerland, wherever they play, I'm thinking Switzerland will get a... Sorry, there's like noise in my neighborhood. I think Switzerland will get like a narrow victory, honestly. And I think Switzerland will go through on aggregate score. Maybe two to one or two or oh, you know, well I think Switzerland will go through I'm gonna say two to one on aggregate. I think it's gonna be much closer than you guys think. So Switzerland will qualify. Uh, and then who do we have next? Croatia versus Greece. 
See, if you're a seeded team, you wanted to get Greece. Thing is, Greece's style of play, which is ultra defensive and low scoring, doesn't really match up well for Croatia. I mean, for them, it matches up well, but for Croatia, Greece is a really frustrating team to play against, and there's a little bit of history between each other in World Cup qualifying. I could see Greece coming through here. Like I said, I can think. I think any one of these teams can qualify for the World Cup. Um, they're playing the first game in Croatia, so it's pressure on Croatia to get a result. But you look at Croatia and World Cup qualifying; they've sort of been s slipping up a little bit. They drop. They uh, drop points at home to Finland. They almost drop points at home to Kosovo. They beat Ukraine on the road, which was good. They changed their manager up from Ante Kacic, which is good. But I could see Greece stealing this. I could see, because if it stays 0-0 in the first leg in Zagreb, all Greece need is a 1-0 to sneak through. And we know Greece is, we know playing against Greece is like walking across sand. It's annoying, it's frustrating, it's tedious. Um, because of the style of football that Greece plays, I think it could very easily stifle any creativity that Croatia builds in midfield. But I have a hard time picking Greece to go through because I just think that Croatia should be too strong for them in the end. But I think this is going to be another close tie unless Greece have a complete meltdown. I think the first leg is going to be... I think the first leg... Like... I think it's going to be narrow. I think, I think Croatia wins the first leg 1-0. I think the second leg is 0-0, and Croatia qualifies for the World Cup 1-0 on aggregate total. I think it's going to be pretty boring. I do. So I'll see you guys in my next video for part two with the other two European playoff matches. Uh, I don't want the videos, one video to get really long, so I'll see you later today, God willing. Until then, much love and peace out. Have a good day.